Using colour in web design can be tricky. How do you avoid your results looking uninspiring on one hand or on the other looking like a toddler's been let loose with a 24 pack of crayons? Well, my name's Matt and in this short video I'm going to show you some simple tools and frameworks that you'll be able to use right away to improve the application of colour to your website layouts. Have a look at this mobile design. You might laugh but Honestly, I've seen worse applications of colour out there on the web, and it's not dissimilar from the approach we see from some of our new students at Flux. Can you figure out what's wrong with it? So this is our primary brand colour, this sort of khaki green here. So that's why the word mark is in that colour, but there's not a lot of contrast from the background. Those contrast issues are even worse down here. This title of Street Art Tours, we know now this orange on green doesn't work. And similarly with the button, this is our primary call to action, but it doesn't really stand out. And the way we've got type in different colors, and then we've got these three different color blocks, really just make it feel a bitty, and they don't bring each section of information together and guide the user through this whole journey. So we need to work on that. So first of all, is it a color problem, or is it a whole web design, a whole layout? Well, you can figure that out by just turning your layout to black and white. So I've done that here with this one. In fact, I've actually just used the light gray and the dark gray that are part of this palette. And you can see it's already much better. We actually don't have problems really with the hierarchy. This makes sense and the layout works. It was the application of color that was the problem, but it's worth checking because if your layout doesn't work in black and white, it usually won't work in color. So we just need to think, how are we going to then apply color to this? Although it's already pretty good, it's already improved. But if we want to communicate uh, some brand messaging or we want to guide the user more through this interface, color can help us with that. Well, to think about how we're going to apply this palette of five colors to this design, let's just take a bit of inspiration from outside of web design. In interior design, they talk about the 60-30-10 rule which means applying colors with one color or group taking up 60%, another 30% and another 10%, like in this bathroom where the green of the tiles goes down into the tub and the sink is the 60%, the lighter green or off-white on the top of the walls is 30% and then the 10% accents are the brass uh, taps and spouts. Even in a more complicated interior, that can work. In this lounge setting, we have got 60% of the cream on the walls, then the wood textures which are on the floor, the door, door furniture, the ceiling, the bookshelves, the frames of the chairs, that's kind of your 30%. And that means that this blue really pops out on the sofa and the chairs on this neutral canvas. Same in fashion. We've got 60% here with black, 30% in brown, the trousers, and then the 10% is in the spectacles, uh, the detail on the jacket, the white socks peeking out, the soles of the shoes, that kind of white or cream is our 10%. With oh, this lady here, we have got 60% in the blue. We have 30% on this coat, which is kind of a, a gray, light brown. And even if she wrapped that coat around her with a different styling, this would still work, but it would just be a flip of that would then become the 60% and the blue 30%. But then that little bag in yellow, also being a different texture, it really helps that pop out as that accent as the 10%. And crucially, she's chosen, or a stylist, a color bag that works well because it's a complementary color to blue on the opposite side of the color wheel, but it's also analogous uh, kind of with that uh, brownie color. Uh, so it works uh, well with either a different color bag, uh, you know, wouldn't work as well. One more discipline is film. If you look at somebody like Wes Anderson, you know that every frame of his movies are deliberate. They're like paintings. And in the Grand Budapest Hotel, we have in the interior of this elevator, red on the walls and then purple for the uniforms. And then the brass buttons or the kind of controls of the elevator uh, just kind of pop out as that 10%. Similarly in his movie, Isle of Dogs, we have got yellow on the walls, light brown, for the 30% and then accents, they don't have to be only a three color system. So if you've got more than three colors, you can make this work. So here, the pink and the sort of purpley blue of the shirt, they're the 10% kind of together and they really do stand out from uh, that background. 
But it's not just in this sort of very stylized form, but again, even in a more real life scenario, like in the movie Her, where the protagonist is walking through the city, we clearly see him because his red shirt really pops out on the sort of grey, brownish, dull background, the neutrals of the city. So let's apply that into our web design. So what I would do, given I've already got a palette and we have this mono design here, is choose a neutral colour for our background and then I think the black type looks pretty good. I don't really want coloured up type, so maybe straight away I'm just going to say my black's going to be my 30% and it's going to be one of these two. Well, I think the grey's okay, but I kind of like how this cream kind of sits with these brand colours and it. it makes it more of a, a, a cohesive palette. It picks up some of those tones. So I'm actually going to make the cream my 60%, but I like how this is a bit more contrasted, this very light grey, how we use it like on the button text. So maybe all these things together can be our 10%. So 33 times 3, 99, close enough to 100. So this would be the kind of way I would display my palette to make sense of it and then apply that to the web design, which would lead to something like this. We want that button to really stand out here. So we've gone for the orange on the cream. That's our key call to action. And then our primary brand color, we've used that instead of for the type of the word map for the background. So that can be communicated, you know, sort of along with the logo to make sense. So here's our before and here's our after. We're still bringing the palette through for brand messaging, but now this is making much more sense of the layout. So the user is being guided through it. If you need help choosing colors in the first place and building palettes, watch my longer video, How to Select Colors Step by Step, which will walk you through the process. We've also got a couple of eBooks that are completely free and you might enjoy them. One's entitled Color Psychology for Designers and the other, The Complete Guide for Choosing Colors. There'll be links to all of that in the description of this video. So fill your boots and until next time, happy designing.